Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Mills, and in my work as a life and an organizational coach, I see how often anxiety and past emotional experiences that are really charged can block people from moving forward in their lives. So today I want to offer you a very simple NLP process that will allow you to let go of the charge that so many of those past experiences hold and to enjoy greater freedom and ease in your life. The process is very simple. It takes only a few minutes, and all you need to do is visualize, so to allow your mind just to wander the places I suggest for a few minutes. The simplest way to really know that these things have discharged is to use the emotional intensity scale. We use a scale that's from 0 to 10. 0 is no intensity at all. It might be something like when you see a leaf, you just say, oh, it's a leaf, and you keep walking. 10 is the absolute maximum amount of emotional intensity that you can experience. Your head feels like it's going to fly off. And that can be emotional intensity in terms of anger, in terms of sadness, in terms of anxiety. It doesn't really matter what kind of emotion it is, just that the intensity feels so great that you are feeling completely overwhelmed. We don't ever want to bring you to that place um, unless you're working with somebody who's really qualified to do that one-on-one. -on -one. So for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to invite you to stick to around a four or five. And what you're going to do initially is draw up an experience, so bring to mind an experience that would be about a four or five on your emotional intensity scale that you would like to release. So simply step into that experience for a minute. Imagine what it was like to be in it. Really make it present. You want to be as associated into the experience as you can so that you can get the full experience of discharge. So from that place of this event happening or this anxiety or this sadness, whatever it is for you, from this place of emotional intensity, the first thing that I'd like you to do is to step out of the picture. So imagine yourself watching a movie. As if you were on a movie screen, you're going to simply step out of it and you're going to still see everything in front of you happening just as if you were there. But there'll be a level of distance between you and the action. So if you look up on that screen, you'll see yourself moving right along, doing whatever it is that you were doing. From there, I want you to freeze the frame of this movie so that it's like you hit pause on your VCR and now you just have one picture. Once you've done that, flatten out that image. So just make it absolutely flat so it is just like a picture. As you're looking at this picture, I want you to step away from it. So experience your body it's moving back and back and back away from this, this photo that you've now created. So if you imagine yourself in a theater, imagine that initially you were right up at the front of the theater and now you're going to walk all the way to the back. And as you do, you'll probably notice a difference in the way that you feel. Your emotional intensity will decrease. Now as you're looking at that, I want you to shrink that photo down. Make it really, really small. So down that, that photo that's initially the size of a movie screen, we're going to make it all the way down to the size of a postcard, or you can even go so far as to make it a postage stamp. Looking at that little tiny postage stamp that's got a lot of distance from you, I want you to drain all the color out of it. Some people can just do this as one fell swoop. Other people like to drain it out slowly um, and see it all the color just seep out of the bottom of the, the picture. Now I want you to put a little frame around this postage stamp. Just give it a little frame of any sort you like. It can be a frame you found on the street. You can make it out of Cheetos. You can make an M&M frame. It can be clown faces. It doesn't really matter so long as there's a frame around it, particularly one that allows you to feel good about the photo. So nothing scary, just good, happy, positive um, framing. And then give it a little light so you can see it from across the room. Not very clearly, but it's a soft light. And then finally, I want you to change its style. So whatever it looks like right now, if it's a cartoon, then give it a style as like a cubist painting or impressionist, or maybe you make it a line drawing. If it started off as a photograph, you could turn it into any other style you wanted. It could be a collage. It doesn't make any difference. Just give it another style. Now check in with yourself to see where the emotional intensity around this experience is on the scale of 0 to 10. 
if you feel like the experience is completely abated, you're down to a zero or a one, even a two, you can stop the exercise now. If you're still feeling like there's a pretty good charge, then let's do two more things. The first is to make it even smaller. So if it's the size of a postage stamp now, I want to shrink it down until it's the size of a pin, just the top of a pin. And the other thing you're going to do is you're going to create lots and lots of distance between you and this image. So imagine that this tiny little pin experience is on one side of the US, all the way on one coast, and you're going to stand all the way on the other. And you're going to look at that tiny little pin from way, way back and be able to see everything you need to, but to have a whole different distance between you and the pin. So as you're looking at it, I want you to take a great big step to your left. So you'll go about 50 feet. So you have a completely different perspective on this. You're kind of at an angle. Now check in with the emotional intensity. For most point, people at this point, it'll be down to two or even a zero. If that's not true for you, you can keep moving backwards. You can keep walking to make this smaller and smaller. You can even return to the beginning of this recording and continue to walk through this process. I hope this process has been a good one for you and you've enjoyed it. You can use it for anything that you feel emotional intensity around. Have a great day and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.